very much, Michael. You know, we've been talking about gambling and a lottery bill for a long time here in the state of Alabama, and dog track owners in Alabama want gambling to be legal. So they've launched a campaign to push for legislation. That campaign launched last week. Here to talk about that is CBS 42 political analyst Steve Flowers. Good morning, Steve. Good morning. You know, last year it, it almost passed mm -hmm. the United legislature. All they're doing is voting to let legislators are voting to let their people vote on this issue. Now, for years, we've watched the issue of just a plain lottery come up periodically, and, and the legislators have been asked to put that on the ballot. Uh, but uh, this time, it's a more comprehensive mm -hmm. uh, package. It includes about seven or eight places, that, and these dog track locations are included in the casino bill. So, you know, we've been talking about this, uh, and it's clear the people of Alabama in, in studies have spoken and said, give us the chance to vote on it. And I guess what, the last time we voted on it, I didn't have children, and now I've got a 20-something-year-old. That's how long it's been since it went to the vote for the people. Who keeps, what is the problem with it? Is it the, the gambling entities themselves, or is it legislators? What's the problem? We can't get it back to us for a vote. I think the uh, problem what people have had in the past with just having gambling may have gone past, we may be past that. I think it will pass the people if it gets to a vote. The reason it's been held up in the legislature is conflicting and competing forces to say we just want to be the only ones to have gambling. For example, the Indians right. have gambling. Uh, so what the, these private entities that are advertising saying, look, let everybody have it. I mean, it's not like you ought to have a monopoly. So I think somewhere along the next year, you will have a special session, and I think it may pass. So this is this campaign, the, the commercial campaign that we're seeing, um, that's getting out ahead of this for possibly a special session? They are, but I don't think you're going to see a special session in this current year because you've got two other issues that have to be addressed. You've got to address prisons in a special right. session, and you've got to address reapportionment and redistricting in a special session. But early next year, I think you may see a special session that says we're going to have comprehensive gambling. Alabamians are tired of their money going to their sister states, uh, and our citizens are spending their money there. Uh, the biggest places where lottery tickets are bought on our borders are our border counties, you know, Cleburne and places like that. And, um, you know, I think the Alabamians are ready to vote to let the people uh, have to have gambling mm -hmm. or, or get the money from gambling. Sure. Uh -huh. um, do you think it's a, do we have a clean lottery bill as everyone screams they want, or do you think it's more complex? I think it's going to be comprehensive. I think because lottery now is so old hat that we've almost missed the boat on that. Uh, they mm -hmm. want to say, look, let's just get ahead of the curve right. and get everything because we've got locations that have gambling already. The Indians, for example, have casinos. These other tracks want casinos also, mm -hmm. and it's best for Alabamians to get all the money. There's a lot right. of money involved with you when you get sports betting and, and that sure. sort of thing uh, included. A lot of brings in $150 million. This other brings in $700 million. Think how young we were when we first started talking about this. You, you as a politician mm -hmm. and me as a news reporter. Man, we, we have aged watching this process. <laughs> Steve, always great to talk you with you. You've aged better than me, by the way. <laughs> There's a lot of makeup going on here. We'll be right back here on the CBS 42 Morning News.